Hey everyone, it's Serena from the HNLT Collective. Um, so firstly, today is one of those annoying low energy days. So um, I'm just going to talk to you and crochet. And I'm aware that, uh, yeah, this eye is really irritated at the minute. So there's no makeup on today. Um, Okay, so it is nearly a year since, or it's just over a year, I think, since we all found out that we're a system. Um, so I wanted to do a kind of one year later update um, on how we're doing and what we've learnt in this year um, of living with DID. So it feels a bit weird for me to be talking about it but obviously I am the host now and Kat has totally fused with me so Kat is not able to talk about it however I do have some of their um like collective thoughts from before um I guess or like memories of how it was for them when they found out so I'm going to kind of go off that but I'm also going to go from a um, position of an altar of the system. So the first thing I learned or we learned is that it's never going to go exactly how you plan it. You cannot plan around DID. It is chaotic. Um, yeah, there are things you can do to help yourself to have some kind of structure um, but you can't expect yourself to be able to stick to schedules which is something that was really difficult for us because um, we're so focused on structure and schedules as part of our upbringing it was I guess it's also one of our triggers in some ways because that's how we had to be um, but um, we've had to learn to try to conserve energy as much as possible I'm just going to get my pattern up for my crocheting um, if any of you are interested I am making a tablecloth because the um, the current tablecloth on our desk at home is really bright and my happy colour is black. Um, I apologise for the noise over there. Um, people are having roofs redone um, and all sorts of other things. So there will be noise. What was I saying? Conserving energy. Yes. Okay. So this was tricky for cats to learn because they were so used to doing everything all the time and although they would burn themselves out a lot um, it wasn't as easy to do as it is now um, chronic fatigue is runs in our family so we're already susceptible to it um, and so when we found out we were a system um, chronic fatigue kind of kicked us as well so as an altar although I didn't get to come out that much because they were all scared of me um, they the other altars and myself the couple of times I got to come out had to also learn how to work within the body so that we didn't tire it out as much. Littles, obviously, they're children. They have high energy and we can't help that. We want them to be able to be kids if they are out. Um, but when the adults are out, we try to take things a lot slower than we used to. Um, we've also had to learn to trust each other 
trust that the brain is going to do what's best for the system because ultimately DID is a disorder that was caused by the brain not connecting past so that we could um parts so that we could um survive essentially um and we're well aware of that so we have had to learn to trust that things happen for a reason even if we don't know what it is um we didn't exactly enjoy the fusion because we didn't know it was going to happen i didn't particularly want to be host i'd only been out a couple of times um other than in some therapy sessions um but um learning to trust one another to do their jobs and also making sure that people understood that they did have a job to do and that they needed to do it um was really important to um put in place so that kind of comes hand in hand with communication because we were very very separate before and then once we discovered that one that we're a system we all had to come together a bit more and engage with each other as opposed to just kind of living our separate lives as we were just like not really talking to each other but like just coming out when we needed to um so we were pretty disorganized to be honest when we were first um kind of trying to work together um to the point where at one point it was up to me to um verbally kick some people to do their jobs um because i am the assertive one so um communication and trust is a big issue for us as i believe it is for quite a lot of systems because of what we've been through trusting people even if they're people within our own system is very difficult the other thing is we had to remember that now cat knew about us all or about us as they kind of met each one of us or was told about one each of us um that we had to communicate with them as well we had to try to lower the amnesia barriers and communicate when we'd been out what we'd been doing um which was hard because we had spent 20 for me it was 26 years because um i was formed when the body was two so i had spent 26 years covering my tracks and making sure that cat never found out about any of it and then suddenly there was this massive up evil when we had to make sure that cat knew what was going on and obviously still protect them from certain things because them learning about certain things too early is dangerous and working with our therapist with communication so cat tried really hard um once they stopped kind of fighting back because at the beginning cat wanted to push back and be like no this is not a real thing this is not a real thing i know that i've always heard these people in my head and i know that to me these people are very real um but no it can't be real it can't be so once they started to accept that yeah it was real is real this is their life um they tried really hard um by getting various sorry twitch by getting various bullet journals 
um, or just communication journals or diaries and trying to find different ways of communicating. They also tried to get different things around the flat for various altars. So for example, the littles, they made sure they had some things for them to play with um, that were age appropriate. Um, which did really help. The best thing for communication has been therapy and has been regularly trying to check in with ourselves. Um, which is something I still struggle with, to be fair. Um, but I now have flashcards all over the flat on the walls, like the flat I'm in at the minute, on the walls, um, to remind me to do various things. And that has been really useful, actually, to be able to see them all the time, even if I can't read them because they're quite small. But I, I've written them and I know they're there and what I've done is I've made them all on black card and use different washi tape around it um, and white gel pen so they kind of stand out and I can associate the washi tape with the message um, so I think the most important thing we've learned is to just go with it because at first cat would be like what we have this now like why like, i thought i had everything planned i thought i knew everything and now all this is happening and what do you mean and it's like no you just have to learn to go with it because um you can't predict this disorder um You can never predict what's going to happen, it's more of a roller coaster. Um, and yeah, it's it takes a lot of energy just to live with this disorder because our brain is so active all of the time, even when um, things like um. communication levels are down so at the minute with the fusion communications for me with the main system are not very good they are starting to get better i think with the new gatekeeper um but there is kind of a, a lag of like an hour um so it takes a long time for me to get anyone's attention there and then with my system, because we recently discovered we were polyfragmented, I have a lot more communication. Um, and some things make a lot more sense. The idea is unpredictable and you just have to learn to go with it. And not get too stressed or caught up in the schedules and um, trying to keep everybody happy all the time because while there's certain things that I'll have to do to pretend to be cat um, with the people that I can I have let them know who I am so I can be myself um, because no one nobody likes having to be somebody that they are not being your authentic self is a lot less draining and a lot less um, I guess depressing for us I don't know what it is for others but for us it's quite depressing um, in the medical sense because it does um, do that to us um, you know the body already suffers with depression so it just 
emphasize is that. I hope that you found this, ha this helpful and I will catch you later. Bye.